Hello friends, we are back again in this tutorial. We are going to be looking at how to download Sketchware 6.4 which is a better RC with Kotlin support. So we have been off for quite some time now but we are back again. Hopefully we will get some more exciting tutorials coming in. Yeah, so to get this new Sketchware, let's simply open our browser. So you open your favorite browser. I prefer Chrome, so I'll open my Chrome, create a new tab there, then we're going to search sketch where Pro Beta 6. Then search that. So you see quite a number of results, but our main focus is uh, supersketch.com. So if you don't want to search, you can always go directly to supersketchstore.com. Open it. So the goodness with this one is there are a number of sketchwares on this site that you can choose from. If you don't want to download the latest one that you want to try out, you can always try out the other ones. We also have the official sketchware right on this page. So just scroll down and you'll find your downloads here. You have the mods and the official. So the one we're interested in today is the sketchware Pro 6.4 RC01 Kotlin. So with this one, yeah, we have the new Kotlin support and this sketchware so let's install it so so my first time so i don't really know what's contained in it but we're going to download it and install it this will open a mega link in case you have mega you can always click on mega to download if you don't have mega just choose your browser and it will open the link then on this link you need to see a download button of which we need to click on to download the file so to download it let's click on download so depending on your internet speed the uh, download will begin and will be done accordingly so my speed is not that bad yeah so we should be done with this within the shortest possible time so I will not pause the video We'll just wait till we reach 98.4 MBs. Yeah, so this is one of the advantages of Sketchware of Android Studio and other IDEs. You find the whole package is less than 100 MBs, which of course expands as we install it, but still way, way, way less than the other IDEs. So I'm hoping this Sketchware is really interesting, like the previous 6.4 beta 6, that one was a lot stable and awesome yeah and that's my daily driver 6.4 beta 6 so if this one performs well i'll probably change to using it so let's install it click on install if you get a prompt to enable unknown sources do so before installing so we can see even the icon there is kind of new looks cool let's open it sketch where imagine create share model team cool okay so the first thing we notice is the dialog there the dialog also looks new there has been many changes since version 6.3 fix one yeah 6.3 fix one was also awesome Okay, you can read that and choose what you want to do. Close view, never show again. So I'll just close it. Then let's just quickly look at the main menu. Though this is not my focus. My focus was just to tell you how to download it. But we can still have a look at it and see if we can identify anything new. Visually, of course, you can always have a look at the change log here see what's new all the details are documented by the developers this is so cool from them let's go back let's try to go to settings settings is still the same let's go to developer tools here this is the interesting part yeah so you can have a look at this just explore to find if there's anything new i won't really dig into this let me open it let's create a new project if you already have a project simply open one you just call it demo 
so we are in our project i've created a sample project widgets layouts android x this still looks like the same stuff we've had yeah um let's look at the settings there still the same as in 6.4 beta 6 this is so cool yeah so apart from having kotlin support looks interesting there we have got a change java or kotlin you can always add java or kotlin files here and you should be able to compile them so i'll leave the link in the description if you want to dive into this new sketchware simply download it from the link below in the comment section we can have your comments there and let's discuss if you've got any questions i'll be ready to respond to you if you like this video just hit the like button and share with friends